Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. It is fall, I am feeling it. So my meal prep for my sweet treat is so delicious and full of pumpkin spice. Breakfast, amazing, lunch, amazing. Feeling some salads this week. I have a great copycat recipe coming your way. So if you wanna see what I am preparing for my breakfast, my lunch, and that pumpkin fall sweet treat, just keep watching. For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making a comfort food breakfast casserole. I have been craving comfort food, something warm in the morning, the weather has changed, it's cooler out. So I'm gonna have this casserole and I'm gonna pair it with just some fruit for a pretty quick and simple breakfast. So let me show you what's in this casserole. So first you're going to need some green onions. I already had some cut up in my fridge, so that was easy some milk or milk alternative of your choice. I'm gonna be using this Carb Master Milk from Kroger. Whatever protein source you wanna to add to your casserole, you can do bacon, ham, whatever you want, but I'm gonna go with these Jimmy Dean fully cooked sausage crumbles, only because they, you can have a lot of them for a low amount of smart points. Some 90 calorie crescent rolls, salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna be using the Dax original red seasoning. I love Dax. All of Dax seasonings are zero salt, all natural, no MSG, no weird anything in their seasonings. Literally as natural as natural can be. So this particular one, which I really like, has dehydrated garlic, paprika, and a little bit of anti-caking agent. That's it. So it does have a little bit of a kick, but just enough to give a little bit of extra flavor to your meal. I, I literally, literally love Dax. If you're looking for something that doesn't have any sodium, that's great before weigh-in day, Dax is definitely the way to go. If you're interested, I do have a 10% off discount code. I will put it here on the screen for you. That will give you 10% off and free shipping. They have over 20 seasonings. I love all of them. I use them a lot. So today, we're gonna go with some Dax Original Red. Highly recommend. I'm also going to do cheese, half light Mexican blend from Trader Joe's and half fat free. That will just cut down on the points for the casserole. And of course you're going to need some eggs. So let's get started on my breakfast. So to get started on our casserole, you're going to need a large bowl because everything is going to go into the one bowl, five eggs, one quarter cup of milk and your biscuits. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and crack all five of our eggs into our bowl, add our quarter cup of milk, and then we're actually going to take our biscuits and with some scissors, we're just going to cut them into smaller chunks and add them to our bowl. Once you have your biscuits here with your eggs, you just wanna give it a few minutes to allow the biscuits to soak up that egg mixture, yum. To that, I'm going to be adding my cheese. So I have one half of a cup of the Trader Joe's light shredded Mexican blend and one half of a cup of just your traditional fat-free cheese. You're not gonna notice the difference and it's gonna go ahead and cut down on the points for us. And then I have some green onions. I'm just going to add just a couple of handfuls. Go ahead and do however much you want in your particular breakfast casserole. I love green onions, so the more the better. I'm also going to add in one and one half cups of my Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles, some salt and pepper. I mean, this is seriously so easy. And again, you can add whatever you want to this. If you wanted to add in some vegetables, you could do that. If you wanted to add bacon, ham, multiple meats, you would just wanna recalculate your points based on what you add in to your casserole. And I was actually just thinking, I have some zucchini. No, I won't add it. I was thinking I might add zucchini. I don't know that it'll cook up quick enough in the casserole. And then I'm also going to add some Dax Original Red. I love this seasoning. And then we're gonna give this a stir and get everything nice and mixed together. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't add the zucchini because look how thick it is already. 
um, without the zucchini. There just isn't enough liquid with the eggs to accommodate the zucchini in there. So if you were going to add an additional vegetable or something to this, I would probably up your egg count as well from five to however many eggs you think would be best to accommodate what you want to mix in your casserole. But look, this looks so good. So I'm going to grab my baking dish. We'll get this into that and get it into the oven. So we're ready to get our pan going. I have some nonstick cooking spray here. I'm going to go ahead and generously spray by 9 by 13. That is the size of dish that I'm using here. And we're going to go ahead and add our comfort food casserole to our dish. Now the recipe says you can use a smaller baking dish, but it says that it cooks better in the 9 by 13. So I'm going to go the 9 by 13. These biscuits will kind of poof up as they cook, so it'll make your casserole a little bit thicker as well as everything starts to cook down. So go ahead and get that spread out as evenly as you can in the bottom of your casserole casserole dish and this is going to go into the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes or just until your casserole is cooked completely through. You want to make sure your eggs are cooked and everything is kind of bound together in your casserole. Looking good. So I'm going to pop this in the oven and I'll be back to show you our completed casserole. Our comfort food breakfast casserole is out of the oven. Look at this. It puffed up pretty darn good with those biscuits. Yum, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit. I'm actually gonna be cutting this into six servings. I'll get it put together in a meal prep container with my fruit, and I'll be back to show you my breakfast and give you the smart points. So here is our completed breakfast for the week. I cannot tell you how incredibly excited I am. So here is one sixth of the comfort food breakfast casserole. It fills the entire large compartment of my meal prep container. I had a little taste. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing with the sausage, the Dax. The Dax really adds that good amount of seasoning with a little bit of a kick. The biscuits, incredible. So I have one sixth of the breakfast casserole. That is six smart points. Not bad at all. And then I'm simply pairing mine with a nectarine for zero. And I think this is plenty for breakfast. So my entire breakfast for this week is only six smart points of comfort, delicious food. Cannot beat it. For my lunches this week, I am making copycat Panera bread, sesame Asian chicken salad. I cannot wait for this. I've been craving salads like I mentioned in my grocery haul, so I can't wait for my lunches this week. So first I'm gonna show you the toppings for our salad. So you're going to need some wonton strips, some sliced almonds, I picked up the unsalted dry toasted, and then you'll also need some mandarin oranges, either in their own juice that you rinse or the no sugar added is fine as well. You just wanna make sure that you're not getting any extra points from what it is mixed with as far as liquid goes. So those are your toppings as well as some sesame seeds. And then for the salad, I'm gonna be using the Trader Joe's Just Grilled Chicken Strips. This honestly just makes it so much easier. They're already pre-cooked, easy to marinate, just really easy for a quick lunch prep. Some avocado oil, rice vinegar, salt and pepper, cilantro, you can use dried or fresh, whatever you have, I just have the dried, soy sauce or coconut aminos, sesame oil, ground ginger and garlic powder, brown sugar alternative of your choice, I'm gonna be using the Swerve Brown. Also some sugar alternative, I'm gonna be doing the Lakanto Monk Fruit Classic. Of course, some sesame seeds for the sesame in the salad and lots of lettuce. So I'm doing a mix of romaine, power greens, and then this Champs Alyssis. Let me know if I slaughtered that down in the comments. So I'm gonna be making a mix of all of that. So let's get started on our copycat Panera Asian sesame chicken salad. So the first thing we're gonna do is make up our marinade for our chicken because we do wanna let our chicken marinate for about 15 minutes while we put together some of the other parts of our salad. So in my bowl here, I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of soy sauce, or in my case, coconut aminos, whatever you prefer to use. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of my Swerve Brown Sugar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, 
and I'm going to just add in a little bit of garlic powder and again you know I don't typically measure my spices and a little bit of ground ginger which is going to give it that delicious kind of Asian flavor make sure I get all my oil here there we go and then I'm just going to mix this together really quick with my spoon I just want to make sure that the sugar and the seasonings are all kind of mixed together and then to my marinade, I'm going to go ahead and add my Trader Joe's Just Chicken Strips. Now, mine are still kind of frozen. If you can at all, get yours to de-thaw first. Or thaw first. How do we say de-thaw? Thaw first. That would probably be even better. Only because your chicken's going to absorb the marinade a little bit better when it's thawed. So, I'm going to just give this a quick mix. I just want to make sure that all of my pieces of chicken here are covered with my marinade. I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap pop it in the fridge while we put together some of the other parts of our salad. Now we're gonna put together the dressing portion of our salad and we're gonna cover it with saran wrap and throw it in the fridge. This just allows our chicken to marinate a little bit. So for our dressing, we are going to need two tablespoons of oil. So what I have here is avocado oil. What I really like about this salad is you're getting in quite a bit of healthy oil, which is great and the points are still really, really low even with the oil. So it's a win-win. And then I have a quarter cup of my monk fruit sweetener because you want to have a sugar in there as well. It just kind of helps to sweeten up the dressing a little bit, kind of like Panera. I also have one half of a cup of my rice wine vinegar. So I'm just kind of stirring as I go, only because of the sugar. I want to try to get it dissolved in the liquid as well. And then in here, I have one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil. So again, you're getting in a little bit more oil. Sesame isn't as healthy as avocado, but it's still a fat, which is definitely needed on the WW program. I'm also going to add some salt, and you can do this to your liking. It says about a half of a teaspoon of salt, and then pepper, same, about a half a teaspoon of pepper as well and that's just going to enhance the flavor especially the salt of the rest of the ingredients and then here i have half of a teaspoon of sesame seeds so i'm just going to stir all of that together and again i'm just going to put a little bit of saran wrap here on my bowl and throw this in our fridge while we continue on making our salad. Let's mix together our lettuces so we're ready to put together the salad. So basically what I'm gonna do is just little by little mix together the different greens that I picked up at Trader Joe's for my salad. Now if you are just using one type of green, that makes it easy, but I like to change it up. I like to have some spinach and I but I also like that crunch of the romaine and then I thought the power greens would be a nice addition as well just for that little added extra boost of nutrition so I'm just going to add in all of my lettuce mixes and then with my clean hands of course I am going to just mix these together and then we'll be ready to put these into the bowl and start assembling our salads we're going to be putting together toppings separately and dressing separately because we want to add all of that right before we eat so that everything stays nice and crunchy. So mix together your greens and then we're moving on to putting together the salads. So I have my meal prep bowls here and I'm just going to fill each bowl with my greens and I'm going to fill it pretty darn full because this is the main portion of my lunch. Just make sure that you're leaving room for, ooh that doesn't look very good, make sure that you're leaving room for some chicken on top of your greens and then of course just some room to kind of stir your greens as you go. So I'm going to fill up all five meal prep bowls for the week. my salads all ready to go. Now I'm not going to add anything directly to my salad only because I want to keep my greens fresh and crisp. So everything is going to be put together separately and then added to our bowl. So first we're going to start here with chicken. So it's been kind of marinating for a while. I'm going to bag this up into individual little baggies and we're going to put that into our meal prep bowl. So I'm going to divide this into five equal servings and we'll put it in little baggies. 
So for my salad, I went ahead and divided my marinated chicken into five little baggies. And then all I'm going to do is just add them. I just use these, by the way, the little snack size. I'm just going to add them to the top of my greens. Now let's put together our dressing and then our toppings. So here is my dressing. It looks really good. And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my little reusable cups that I picked up at Home Goods. So really simply, let me move our little bowl here and bring in our dressing. There we go. So basically I'm going to just scoop my dressing into my little containers and I just want to make sure I'm dividing it equally amongst all five containers because I do want my dressing to last all five days. So I'm going to start with about three and a half spoonfuls of the dressing. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? And then I'll go back and add more if need be once I start dividing them into my little containers. But these are awesome and then they just simply get put into your bowl and you've got your dressing ready to go when you go to eat your lunch. So my salads are ready. Now it is time to assemble our toppings. So in another Ziploc bag, I'm going to be weighing out two tablespoons or seven grams of these wonton strips. You can have two tablespoons for one smart point. So that's definitely a fantastic bang for your buck. And then I'm also going to be measuring out two tablespoons of my unsalted dry almonds. And I'm going to measure that out actually with my tablespoon because the serving size is actually a quarter of a cup. So I'm going to measure out two tablespoons of my almonds. And then I'm also going to be having some mandarin oranges. So I think what I'm going to do is just take one of these fruit cups with me each day. I won't use the entire cup. I'll make all four of these last throughout the week, but about three quarters of a cup here of the mandarin oranges. And then the last topping, which I'm gonna mix in my little baggie, is some dried cilantro. Now, if you're using fresh cilantro, you probably want to add it directly to your lettuce or put it in its own baggie so it doesn't make these wet. So those are my toppings. Let's get a little baggie put together. So in my little baggie here, I have my topping. So I weighed out here on my food scale the wonton strips. So that is seven grams or one smart point worth of wonton strips, two tablespoons of almonds, and a little bit of cilantro. You can also add in some additional sesame seeds, but I have quite a bit in my dressing, so I am good there. So the last step then for our salads is to take your little baggie of toppings. Now you can put it in your salad bowl if you would like, but I prefer to keep them separate just so they uh, retain the crunchiness. So I will just put these aside and grab one each day. So that is our salad. Let me put together the rest of my little bags of toppings and I'll be back to show you exactly what I'm having for lunch and give you the smart points. So here is my completed lunches for the week. You guys, I'm so incredibly excited. So first let's talk about the salad. So for the salad, I have my marinated chicken, my dressing, and of course my greens. And then on the side here, I've weighed out my toppings, my almonds, my wontons, and my cilantro. And then I also have my mandarin oranges that I'll just drain and top my salad. So the salad itself, and that includes the points for the marinade on the chicken and the dressing is two smart points. And then as far as toppings go, it is one tables or one serving of wonton strips, which is two tablespoons or seven grams for one point, And then two tablespoons of the sliced almonds for two smart points. And of course, zero for the cilantro and zero for the mandarin oranges. So my entire salad toppings included chicken and dressing is only five smart points. You can't beat that. You're getting some healthy fats. You're getting some protein from the chicken and the almonds and you're getting a little bit of deliciousness from the mandarin oranges. And again, it's only five smart points. So I'm going to pair my salad with a fruit. I have a couple bags of grapes left from last week. And then I also picked up that watermelon at Trader Joe's, so I'll be cutting that up. So that will be my second fruit and my last fruit of the day. And then for dessert, because I love my dessert, I'm gonna be having one of these Choco Wright peanut butter cup patty packs. There are two peanut butter patties per pack each pack is only two smart points and 70 calories. I love these. These are a fantastic dupe for Reese's. 
pretty darn close, you guys, to an actual Reese's. It is that delicious. So I'm going to be having one of my little packs of peanut butter cup patties for two points. You can buy these on the Protein Wise website. There is a link down in the description box. It'll give you $10 off your first order. So you can actually pick some of these up for free. Can't beat it. So I am going to have one of those for two. So that makes my entire lunch only seven smart points. Look at all of this for seven points. For a fall vibe, a sweet treat, a dessert for this week, I'm gonna be making homemade pumpkin pudding. No pudding mixes here, guys, but it is super easy. So let me show you what is in our pudding. So first you're going to need some milk. I'm gonna be using the Kroger Carb Master Milk. You could do almond milk. In my opinion, pudding sets up better with regular milk. So if you can score the Carb Master or Fair Life or fat-free milk, that's the way to go. Some sweetener, I'm gonna be doing the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. Cornstarch, salt, of course, that's just gonna enhance all the delicious flavors. Cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg or pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna be adding in some of my Dax pumpkin spice. I did show you the Dax Original Red in my breakfast. So this is another Dax seasoning. Told you guys I loved it. This one I have to say is one of my all time favorites. And with fall here, this is a must have. So this is the pumpkin spice. Again, no salt, nothing artificial. In this particular seasoning, it is very easy. Ingredients you can pronounce. We have cinnamon, we have spices and honey. That's it. A Little bit of anti-caking powder and that is everything amazing. So again, 10% off. Code is here on the screen. You also get free shipping with my code. So check out Dax. We'll be adding in some of that. In here, I just have some leftover pumpkin puree. This is from my protein shake that I made. You guys will see this recipe on Wednesday in my What I Eat in a Day. So good, you guys. So just some regular pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie mix that has sugar. So just get the regular pumpkin and lastly an egg. So let's get started on our pudding. So to get started on our pudding, you'll need a bowl. We're gonna go ahead and crack one egg into our bowl. And then we are going to add one and three quarters cups of milk. And again, I'm using the Carb Master Milk from Kroger. You're going to need a whisk and we're just gonna whisk together the milk and the egg just until everything is nice and combined together. And then we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. In a pan on the stove, we're gonna be going ahead and adding in our sugar. What I have here is six tablespoons of the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sugar. And then I'm also adding in two tablespoons of cornstarch. And we are just going to whisk this together. Until we're going to add in a little bit of our egg and milk mixture. And we're gonna do this in slowly and kind of whisk as we go until all of our milk and egg mixture, which is right here, has been combined in with our sugar and our cornstarch. So we wanna stir this constantly, and then we're gonna bring it to a boil and allow it to cook for one minute. Again, you're gonna be stirring constantly during this entire process. Once it comes to a boil for about a minute, that's when we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the heat. So here is our pudding. Look at this, you guys. Thick, delicious, yum. So now we're gonna add all of the stuff to make it pumpkin. So in here I have one half of a cup of pumpkin puree. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. It's still steaming from the stove. So we'll add in our one half of a cup of pumpkin. And then I have my whisk here. I'm just gonna kind of whisk it in to my pudding. Before I add in my spices, I wanna nicely incorporate that pudding mix and the pumpkin puree. Now we've got some fall colors happening here. So pumpkin and pudding mix. And then to that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some cinnamon. Now I like a lot of flavor in my pumpkin, so I'm gonna put in a decent amount of cinnamon, probably about a teaspoon. The recipe actually called for half of a teaspoon, so I'm not too far off. I'm gonna add in some of the Trader Joe's vanilla bourbon extract. This is the best. And we want about a teaspoon of vanilla. Next is some salt that's just going to enhance the flavor and we're just gonna do just a dash of salt. And then last, the star of the show is the pumpkin spice from Dax and again, 
I'm going to load this pudding up with that. And one last quick whisk. Get everything kind of mixed together. Oh, this looks so delicious. Homemade pudding, you guys. Nothing artificial. I mean, you're not adding in any odd ingredients that you don't know that comes in packaged pudding. So yeah, really excited about this. It looks really good. It Oh, it smells so good. So I'm going to let this cool for a little bit in the fridge, and then I am going to put some in a cute little fall container, and I'll show you guys what a serving looks like. This actually makes four servings, and wait until you hear the smart points. So here is our pumpkin pudding. Look at this, you guys. So delicious. I have it here in my cute little fall glass. So our homemade pumpkin pudding makes four servings. One fourth of the pudding is only one smart point. Can you guys even believe that? So this entire dessert, I topped it with a little bit of the fat-free ready whip. Look at that. And some pumpkin spice from Dax, yum. This entire dessert, one smart point. You can't beat pumpkin pudding for one point. So here are the snacks that I'm going to be bringing for the upcoming week. This is what I'm planning to have. So of course I'm having a built bar. You know, this is my morning snack every day. I have one of these between breakfast and lunch. It keeps me full, keeps me satisfied, cures that little bit of sweet tooth that you get mid morning. So this week I'm having the brand new black cherry chocolate. You guys all time favorite right here. It is so good. They are still available. I don't know for how much longer they were only available while supplies lasted. So I would say maybe another few days to another week. So definitely order those before they're gone. I also have some of the cinnamon chocolate cream. This is another one of my favorites. Unfortunately, no longer, this flavor is no longer available. And this flavor is no longer available. This is the caramel brownie built burner. And then I have the double chocolate mousse and then the mocha chocolate cream, which is another one of my favorites. So these bars are only three smart points a piece. They have 15 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, four sugar, four fat, tastes like a candy bar. No kidding, no protein taste whatsoever. Absolutely outstanding. So for three points, this is gonna be my morning snack. If you're interested in picking up the Built Bar, my code is here on the screen. It'll save you 10% and it will give you free shipping and it's reusable so you can use it over and over again so head on over to builtbar.com enter my code here at checkout you'll get the 10 percent off in the free shipping you guys must try flavor must have on your ww journey i'm also going to be having these i loved these so i grabbed another package this is the parmesan roasted garlic of the harvest snaps i got these at kroger i know you can buy these at um, costco or sam's club three smart points for a serving and you actually get 22 pieces in a serving so it's a lot for the three smart points and they're really good this parmesan roasted garlic yum and then i'm also because i'm on the road a lot and in the office a lot for real estate i am loving these grass-fed iconic protein drinks this is the cafe latte i will drink this by itself but you can also mix this in with coffee if you want like that little extra boost of coffee flavor and caffeine this particular protein shake does have caffeine iconic has several other flavors the chocolate and vanilla are amazing so this has 20 grams of protein three grams of sugar 130 calories calories and two smart points. So same as the premier. I think these have much better ingredients and much better flavor in my opinion than the premier. So love, love, love these. It's an 11.5 fluid ounce container, which I also believe is larger than the premier for the same smart point. So really excited to have this. If you're interested in iconic, they were so nice to give me a 15% off discount code for you guys. Now I don't get any type of affiliate, you know, kickback or anything, but my code is here on the screen. It'll get you 15% off your order on iconics website, which heads up is cheaper than Amazon, especially with that 15% off. So definitely check out iconic order yourself some protein shakes. They're amazing. So this is my snack list for the week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I shared with you guys. That breakfast casserole is amazing. That salad, oh my gosh, for the smart points, so good. And let's talk about that pumpkin pudding. Homemade, one smart point for one fourth, insane. So good, 
must try recipes. They are all linked down in the description box below, as well as all of my links for discounts that I can save you guys some money on your favorite WW products. So definitely check out the description box, not only for the recipes, but for everything that I have some discounts for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, welcome. I do a meal prep every single Monday. I fondly call it meal prep Monday. So make sure that you're subscribing, hitting that little bell so you're notified every time I upload. I'd love it if you would thumbs up this one. Comment down below. Let me know what of these three recipes or recipes, if there's more than one, are you most excited to make? I love you guys. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.